Hey everybody, what's going on? It's KG here. Today I want to talk about the future of TVs, the 2025 TV lineup, and what we know about it thus far. So thanks to High Def News on X for helping me out with this information, but he showed me a post that was showing the C5 and the G5 was leaked, as well as a potential 83-inch QD OLED. Now, the poster didn't necessarily leak this information. He was just a really good researcher. Um, but the C5 and the G5 was found the same way that the C4 and the G4 was found. And the A3-inch S95D was found the same way that they have found previous monitors, previous TV information. Um, so this is all interesting stuff. Let's start with the LG information here. So we're talking about the LG C5 and the LG C4 and how comparable are they? Well, looking at the pictures, you can see that on the screen coding itself, it looks very similar. And yes, I know that the screen peel is still on the TV, but let me tell you that this is going to look like it has non MLA layer. So don't expect MLA in the C5, which means probably don't expect anything major with the C5 in terms of upgrades. Now, a lot can definitely change from here in CES. Maybe there's some hidden information there. And what I've heard from the LG OLED so far is that they're going to have a faster Bluetooth chip in their TVs so they can have their controllers be more low latency with cloud gaming. Interesting, but not something that's going to move the needle for people that are looking for the latest and greatest in TVs, uh, but it certainly is something. Beyond that, I haven't heard anything information wise about the C5 that gets me thinking like this is going to be a groundbreaking TV. So it does feel like the C5 is going to be very similar to the C4, which the C4 was very similar to the C3. The C3 was similar to the C2. You get it, right? There's not much of an incremental upgrade from year to year with the C series. Now the next one, the G series, the G5 looks very similar to the G4, which isn't really a surprise. Nobody really expected a huge upgrade there, I don't think. But personally, I didn't. I think that what they're going to do and what it seems like they're going to do is do MLA once again. This is my opinion now that I think they're going to go with a brighter MLA this year. And it's just going to be, hey, we got brighter TVs up to 3000 nits. That's what I expect from QD OLED as well. A newer generation of QD OLED. And speaking of QD OLED, let's talk about it. Everybody wants to know, is an 83 inch QD OLED finally coming? And it looks like according to this, that there's a possibility. And I want to say that really clearly. I don't know any information beyond this. And this is a really decent indicator, but I do want you to use some caution when we're talking about this. This could definitely be only a placeholder, but here is why it could mean something. So we know that the S90D was a panel lottery in terms of some of them were W OLED, some of them were QD OLED. And it appears that when you look at the S90D in the UK, if you found TXXU, that would mean S90D was the QD OLED in the size that it used it in, right? So with that in mind, now you know that we have TXXU being designated as a QD OLED. And you also may know that if you see an E, X or an E in the model number, then you know that this is probably a W OLED. And interesting enough here, we see that there's different versions of the S95F. And that's another thing that I found pretty interesting is that they're not going with S95E here, they're jumping straight to F. And this is also backed up by a monitor that was shown the same way, also having the model code F and that was about two weeks ago where that came out. So now we know that the model is going to have F in the model instead of E. Not really that useful of information, but it's interesting. So I wanted to throw it out there. What's really interesting is that model code. Some of them are W OLED, right? It seems like some regions are going to get a W OLED S95 F 83 inch. And it is significant though, because last year we did not get an 83 inch S95 D because it would have been W OLED. Samsung probably didn't think that was going to fly in the US or the UK. So when you look at it like that, it certainly does look like this is a very real possibility. This is a flagship usually. An S95 model is usually a flagship. The really 
awful potential downside to this information would be that there looks to be, if this information is correct, a panel lottery for certain locations and not really a panel lottery. It's just like, if you're going to be in this region, this is what you're going to get. And so it looks like Hungary, Netherlands, and Italy from this are going to be getting an A3 inch W OLED of the S95F. While the United Kingdom, looks like that's the only one that shows here uh, so far, is going to get the QD OLED. If your region isn't listed yet, don't panic. I do think that the US is going to get a QD OLED if this is true, but there are unfortunately going to be some regions left in the dark, and that's the really bad part about this. And they did the same thing with the S90D, and it has to be called out. It's really really not cool. I really wanted to share that information with you guys because it's something that I think is a fun discussion to have. If we start getting QD OLEDs in 83 inch sizes, this is huge. This is huge for the 83 inch OLED market where last year the G4 just dominated the 83 inch OLED. It was clearly the best 83 inch OLED and nothing came close. And since we're talking about the possibility of Samsung having an 83 inch QD OLED, We'll be talking about the possibility of Sony having an 83 inch QD OLED as well, since they do use Samsung display, we'll see. So I'm really liking what I'm hearing so far that there's maybe going to be an 83 inch QD OLED, but please don't get your hopes up too much as I don't know anything else beyond this. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I'd love to have a conversation about this kind of stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and I hope to see you in the next one.